Hey everyone, welcome to our brand new channel. This is Vaping Cuz. I'm Michael and that's George. He's Michael and I'm George. And today we're reviewing the new Kinder Subbox Mini Starter Kit. <laughs> we're gonna start with the unboxing. Uh, straight away we've got the box. Very simple, very elaborate, very nicely done. Slide this little section off. Uh, again, aesthetics wise. Just to protect the stuff from popping out. Again, this should come with cellophane wrap, but uh, uh, I had to take a little peep before you guys take a little peep. Right, again, magnetic lid on the side that swings right open, and inside you'll be presented with everything that you need to, that will be inside this box. If something's missing, return it back to your dealer. Right, we have a manual uh, to show the basics and how it works. You won't need this because you'll be watching this video and I'll be telling you how this works. We've got a, some stickers, again we'll be showing you what that is for, um, uh, opinions on this you'll understand later. Very very important that people underestimate is this little card here, is how to prime your wicks before you use it. Again, very very important because you don't want to have that dry taste burning in your mouth that tastes like a ninja karate chopping your lungs apart. Here is the, um, you know, authorization, authorization, the, yeah. what is it called, George? Certificate of Authenticity. That thing. And in the box, very elaborate, you've got the K-Box itself, or the sub-box, as other people know, as it's named, and also you've got the tank, the mini tank in there. Uh, taking it out, if you do see any liquid inside it, uh, return it because this is a bit, someone's used it. Um, inside here, we've got the K-Box, sorry, my apologies, the sub-box, because I don't know if you noticed, in here, on the top, you'll see another close-up, it says K-Box. This is not the official release, because we got this a bit early, not the sub-box. Um, that in there, what you've got is you, really, you take this little section off a little foam very thick very nice foaming a uh, foam here you're gonna get a usb charger so you can charge your device that will plug into there and it, you know it mates and you just go whoop, 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 and it makes little charging babies oh i dropped that section again and put that upside down let me just get that before you drop it sorry <laughs> i break everything right you've got rba uh, congendo so you can build your rba uh, oh, section. Um, also, you're going to be presented with screws, a screwdriver, and some coils in there to, you know, pre built coils if you don't know how to build a coil. In some videos later on, uh, not this video, other videos will show you how it's made. Um, and last but not least, you have the rebuildable section in here. Taking that out is going to be a bit difficult. Ah, there we go. Don't know if you can see it. A little rebuildable section. And you've got the OCC coil in here. A uh, lot major different, major changes on on these. But again, uh, George will be running through all the differences and what has happened in there. And that's oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> and your uh, empty box that you can put away. Very nice. So you're getting K box. Sorry, sub box. Mini. Sub box mini. <laughs> uh, sub tank mini. OCC coil. RBA section, congendo, rebuildable parts, and a charger. And, and another there you have it. And another spare head inside already installed in the tank. Oh, I forgot about that. That's in there. 0.5 okay. head. Right. Oh, did it again. Right. As my colleague said, uh, we have the subbox mini here. Uh, it's a device that goes up to 50 watts. Uh, it's got a really clean screen to it, very bright. Uh, what else? It's got the you know normal DNA functions on it. You see the battery, you see the voltage you're vaping at, you see the ohms and the wattage you're using right now. Uh, firing button works fine, never miss a beat. You have up and down buttons as regular. Uh, I think you can lock the power. There's, there's some other there's some features. Ah, if you press up and down at the same time, it flips the screen. Let's see if I can show you that. Let's see, it flips the screen. Uh, what else? Can we lock the power? Let's try. Yeah, the plus and power makes the screen off for some reason. Turn the screen off. Right. 
and the minus and power button turns the screen off as well, but it does absolutely nothing. Five clicks turns it off, and five clicks turns it on, it shows cunning attack for about a second, and then it's ready to vape, it's very quick to start up. Uh, magnetic back door, very easy to remove, very easy to put back on. It's got a little slide to it, but we'll talk about that later on. Uh, 18650 battery, removable obviously. Uh, spring loaded negative post. I think, I think they are gold plated, I'm not sure because we don't have details on that from the manufacturer or anything. But yeah, it looks like gold plated, spring loaded, very nice. For the negative, you put the battery uh, negative, side, negative side up on this mod, not, not as the other ones, the positive up the other way around. But it still has uh, reverse battery protection, so there's no problems there. Yeah, everything really nice. Now for the tank. Just a quick thing. Uh, if you guys use the Subtank Mini, it's basically the same thing. Uh, the only difference is now you have a mouth to lung uh, airflow hole right there. That you know, obviously is adjustable, but it's really restrictive, and uh, you know, for multi lung uh, vapors, is really good addition to the tank. Right, you have the bigger hole, like in between the multi lung and the lung inhalers. And then you have the fully open one, just for the lung inhalers. Uh, and this time around, we have two slots: one slot on each side, uh, which increases the airflow, and also the heads. We're gonna talk about in a second. Right, now for the heads. This is the 1.5 ohm head. Uh, the airflow holes at the bottom are slightly bigger than the older version. You can still use the old heads on it, bear in mind. Uh, the, you know, the fluid the hole thing is, what is this called? I forgot. Juice control. Not juice the, control. Not juice control. You know, the, the juice slots. There you go. The juice slots. The juice holes. Juice holes. Let's call it the juice hole. Because it's got a hole. Uh, the 1.5 the heads are slightly smaller and it kind of it's like a little tunnel going in because in the coil itself is smaller as well. They're now one whole piece. You can't remove the top of it as you could on the old ones. So kind of a pain to rebuild. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, the only thing that's press fitted apparently is the actual threads. It looks like they're press fitted into the thing where the silicon o-ring is. But there you go. Ah, oh, the, vert the, the coils now are vertical. I don't know why they changed it. I was very happy with the horizontal ones, but they made it vertical this time around. What can you do? Now for the RBA section, the rebuildable section. We have the, the top one screws exactly like the old one. Oops. Say that. Right, and now this is the biggest difference of it all. Uh, the juice channels. Oh, juice channels. Now we don't have juice channels anymore. Now we have two massive juice holes on each side, but they're, they're quite big, I would say they're about three, three and three, three mil in width, quite big, and now you don't unscrew this section, which was a pain to take on the old one before. Now what you have to do is, you have a tiny screw there, I don't know if you can see a Phillips head screw, micro one, and you just unscrew it a little bit, and this section pops right out. Oh yeah, and it comes with the coil, pre-installed, the 0.5 coil. You don't really need to keep taking and putting on the screw. Are you vaping into my you vaping into my stuff, man? Maybe it's not vape somewhere. Man, man, you just you blocking me. It's a special effect, Hollywood. <laughs> but, uh, you can take the this section in and out without taking the screw. It's a bit of a pain if you don't unscrew it. Well, it's just because I'm doing this on camera now, it doesn't want to go in, obviously. There you go, let's try a little bit again. Let's try it again. Yeah, because we're on camera, now it does not want to go in. Yeah, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't matter. You got the picture. It pops out and it pops in. You screw it back on. All tight. Put this back on again. Oh, really smooth thread, actually. Wow. Goes by itself almost. Right. And that's it. So, we're back here um, for our overall thoughts and opinions. Again, we've got the, um, I keep forgetting the name of it, the Subbox Mini. When I went to go and purchase this, you can grab this around about £50, UK sterling pounds. Um, 
I got this the second day or the first day this got released. But again, this is not the official one. Uh, again, my vendor got it. I got it for fifty pounds. Now, with that fifty pounds, I got this box, Ooh. and that's it. The kit. How, the kit. However, there's one negative thing about this that it doesn't come with. It is a battery. Now, this box in here is what I think. I find it perfect. If I started to vape. And I did not know what I needed, or I just wanted to either chuck clouds, clouds, or you know have a bit of flavor juice. This had everything I needed to have, except from obviously e-liquid, and obviously the my shopkeeper will uh, advise what I need. One downside: it does not come with a battery. However, the, what my shopkeeper does is he had a deal: fifty pounds, you get this plus a battery. So. To me, that was perfect. Again, not all vendors will do that. Uh, offer a, a battery. Now, a little set, a little part of the unboxing I showed you was those little red stickers. Now, can I pick this up, Yeah. Don't do it. it I don't it's want got it. reverse battery protection. Just a quick thing. I'm gonna put it upside down. You shouldn't do this, but when I put this upside down, uh, and you're gonna see the battery. Uh, I can't see it, but it's blue. Now those stickers, what is there to do is to... There's one there already. Can you take this out? Can I open it? Oh. Right, so what you're meant to do, um, it comes with stickers, and for aesthetics wise, you put it onto your battery, so when you put your... The other way around. Oh, so I put it right around. So when you put your battery in, um, the little logo will go red. So it will match you know, the O-rings and all that stuff. So again, attention to detail that Kanga has, all good stuff. All good stuff, to be honest. 50 pounds, 50 watts, one watt, one pound. I oh, think that's... Oh, it's actually a pound per watt. Yeah, a pound per watt. I, there's, you can't go wrong about it. Now, a year ago, the um, Cloudpore Mini came out. It was cheap, inexpensive, 30 pounds. 40. 40. 49 99 exactly. 40 pounds, you're getting 30 watts maximum. You're just getting the box mod on its own. Again, I'm not you know, putting um, cloud just down. It's just a comparison. How the vaping industry is going nowadays. You, know, you get a lot more bang for your... For your buck. For your buck, in this case, for your pound. For your pound. <laughs> um, but yeah. It, oh, you can use that for a comparison weight-wise. Absolutely. So what we're going to do now scale. is uh, compare. It should have been on the table. Oh, we kind of set it up on the floor and now he's getting it. So I'm just filling in for the time he picks it up. Okay, there it is. Hello! So now, are you turning on already? Yeah, man. Use just efficiency personified. While that is loading, let me just take a little uh, zip. Right. Yeah. Subbox Mini. That is coming up as oh, Subbox Mini with tank, with, with the head, and with the battery. 216 grams. 15, 15. 215 grams. You were talking to it. No, I was talking to the weights. <laughs> right, 215 grams with everything built in. Again, same sort of comparison. It has the battery built in, the mod itself, and a, again, this is a nano tank. Right, swap the tank. That way there's no. Let me put the tank onto this. Same weight. You should have just weighted the more. The other day I discovered yeah. that this is made of copper. So, 215 grams for the Subbox, Subbox Mini. mini. And for the Cloudport Mini, 222. It is a hundred... Oh, no, no, 10. No, not even 10. Oh, that was a hundred and... 215. Oh. So it's nothing. It's... A ten, breath. It's almost ten, uh, less than ten grams. Well, eight, basic eight grams com between them. Um, and for the size comparison, you want to uh, size them up. Well, you put in the thing on top as well. You could have just compared them with one. Is it? You like complicated stuff. I do. I do. He's a complicated person. Right. They are. I don't know if the sub box mini is about four, I would say four, I'm just eyeballing it. Again. Four millimeters higher. He's got a bit of OCD. Look who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen the outtakes. Oh my god. <laughs> the width is about two millimeters wider, the sub box mini. 
thickness. Exactly the same. Mm, about a millimeter thinner. It's a hair. No, it is a millimeter. All right, a millimeter thinner difference. than the Cloudborn Mini. So overall, they're close. They're really close. But with the same size, you're getting fifty watts. Fifty watts. You're only getting thirty. So twenty watts more in the K box. Almost cheaper. Well, it is cheaper. Twenty pounds. It is cheap. You get a tank, you get three different heads, all styles of vaping. It accommodates every single type of vapor out there from the cloud chaser to the casual cigarette style vaping. Absolutely. Head. So overall, this is a thumbs up. A fantastic oh yeah, start box. We forgot the, what it fires up to. Uh, you can fire coils from, I think the minimum is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 ohms. I think I've seen people do 0.2, but 0.3 is recommended. Up to 1.6 ohms, that's what recommended on the thing, so should stick to it. Yeah, 50 watts. It does step down, but in the not DC mode, the other mode, what is it called? The RMS. It does step down in RMS, but it's, it's only a very little you know, range, so it's quite good. At least you have the step down feature on it. There you go, step down, step up. So there you are. you got the Kang Tech Subbox Mini. Oh, yeah. I said it right for the first time. Can you take Subbox Mini unboxing review and in depth of what it's all about? Yeah. yeah. Me? Pros and cons? Seriously, my honest, brutal opinion. Yeah. The, bec the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the best kit you can get. You can get for, for the your price. money. Yeah. Even, even for not the money. Or if you've got a bit of money, get yourself a Snow Wolf. Yeah, but that's not a kit, it's not in the review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, out there, there's nothing that comes complete as close as this. There you are. So, thank you for watching our video. This is, again, our first video, so uh, a lot, when I say a lot of mistakes was happening in this yeah. video. So, uh, again, bear with us, you're going to get better content, you're going to get more content, you're going to see... Fingers crossed, oh. fingers crossed. And the toes, <gasps> toes crossed as well, my god. But yeah, thank you very much. So what I want you guys to do is please subscribe. Tell us on the comments what you think, what are our improvements. Because again, we need your thoughts and opinions on what we need to be doing. And what yeah. your opinions on these are. Uh, yeah, don't be, don't be shy. If you see something bad, just say it. You can call me all names, just don't give me thumbs down. Just, oh, just, just oh, abuse oh. me and just tell me your humble opinion. Because again, this channel is for our... Honest opinions, what we think as you know, people not being yeah. chased about with you know, chased after um, sponsors and then yeah, there's no sponsors here. We this is all this. our money. This was my fifty pounds, and he gave the fifty pounds to me, and now that fifty pounds is now invested into his wife. Now, yeah, yeah. So basically, I paid for the mod. Yeah, it was a delivery. Yeah, post office man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right. yeah, that's it. Right. Uh, and we vape it cause, cause we, cause we love it. Yeah. And that's it. Bye now. Ciao. The vape thing. That's what the vape thing. We have to do have a closure we, thing. Oh, we, we got a new closure.